I wonder if you could talk a little bit about finding your own voice as an actress, especially in the world of soaps, where there's kind of a, a, a range that is expected of you as an actress. Mm. And from everything I know about you, you break outside of that expectation to find your own voice. And talk about how that, that process for you. In soaps, I mean, again, it's just the way you play the scene. Like, I came on the scene to play, oh, I just dyed my hair back blonde, but it was black at the time. Um, because I played the Book of Esther. So this right. is my natural hair color, actually. But anyway, this is all pertinent because um, <laughs> Teresa, I remember when they called me to play this role, uh, they were like, you know, we, I still had to audition, I still had to do the pre-read, all that stuff, which was BS as far as I'm concerned, yeah. because I was like, you called me from General Hospital, and like I didn't want to do another soap at the time. Yeah. Because I had gotten two ulcers um, from General Hospital. I was 10 pounds lighter than I am now when I was on GH because it was so stressful. And I was really? like, I cannot do that again. Like, I love food. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> so they call me and they're like, well, we have these two roles for you. And one was Jordan. She's like super sweet and who I would think that I would go out for because normally I'm like Betty Crocker. I bake for this set and I'm like, you know, miss like happy-go-lucky all the yeah. time. It's hard for me to cry. Like, I'm not... And then there's Teresa, who is like the most promiscuous, evil whore you will ever meet, who lives to make people's <laughs> lives a living hell. And they're like, yeah, it's like she's, she snorts coke and like all these things that I don't, I don't know anything about. Like, I'm from Virginia. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm, li I'm like, like, I like puppies. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And so they were like, this is the role we want you to play. And I literally called up my agents and was making a joke, of course. But I was like, um, can you ask them how they spell the role of Teresa? Because clearly, like, I don't know. Like, there's no way I can play this role. So I went in. I, I get the role of Teresa. I don't even know. It's a black hair, I guess. And... <laughs> But I, I played her with sass because I'm like, you know, somebody can be a really dark soul, but at the same time, like, I think there's humor in everything. So I, I would play the, the humor of her. And then they started writing me as kind of a really funny character. Yeah. So I do think that you, you know, you have to honor the writing. You have to do what the writers ask you to do, of course. You have to say things as written. But how you play the scene is kind of your own choice once you've already been cast. A little bit, you know, as long as it lines up with the character. Like, I was still a badass. Like, I know it's hard to believe. It's hard for me to believe. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, I played her with a little sass where you'd be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd watch scenes with her and you were like, I kind of don't hate this girl. Right. And that's a key to, like, surviving on a soap. If you're evil, you have to find something about you and your character that's likable. Because they'll just kill you off. Because, right. like, you know, the villains always die. Like, good's always going to win. So the show's been on 50 years. Like, you know, they go through their villains. So I made her likable. But you do it by, for me, I do it by finding, like, the comedy of the character. Mm -hmm.